guys what's up welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be trying to do like e-girl makeup um trying it out this isn't my like first time doing it i've done it before i've tried all sorts of things but i don't like have a plan for what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do things see how it goes so let's start all right so i went ahead and did my base off camera like my foundation concealer uh brows and contour i think i'm gonna try to go and like give myself like an eyebrow slip with concealer i actually used to have one when a couple of months ago and then i let it grow back out just grabbing like a flat headed brush and then i got oh my gosh i got way too much concealer i don't know where i want it like there Now I'm gonna just put on like a whole bunch of blush on my face, like really pile it on. Gosh, this blush is so pink. Oh my gosh, I'm using so much blush. This feels really wrong, but it's, I'm doing it supposed to use a lot of blush but that's the thing you need a bunch of blush and for eyeshadow I think I'm gonna try to use this like really pretty pinky shade and kind of just I'll start with that and see what else I do after that using this blending brush which has something in it ah. just kind of taking that and packing it in my crease not as pigmented as I thought it would be. I need more. There we go. And I'm blending it out. I am so tired today. Yesterday I went skating with my friends and then I had two of my friends spend the night. And then today I filmed uh, my friend, my friends that were already here stayed over and then my friend Landon came over and we all filmed a uh, video for my other YouTube channel, Darn Man. It's not mine, it's owned by all my friends, but today, and then we just kind of hung out and I'm so exhausted. So I have that pink shade on and I think I'm gonna like add a little bit of orange to it, kind of out in, in the outer corner. Yeah, and then just blend that kind of into And then I'm using like um, just another clean brush and kind of blending it up near my brow. So like I get a smooth blend like up here and it's not just like a harsh line of pigment all of a sudden. You don't want it to be like super harsh. You want it to like have some blend to your, you want it to like blend into your skin if that makes sense. Like obviously you want it to be there in bulk, but you want it, you don't want it to just be a super harsh line where it just starts. And then I think I'm going to try to add some of this yellow to like right here. I didn't know I was going to go in with my finger, but I just did. I think I'll like do yellow in my crease actually. So do I want to blend it up or do I just want to, I think I'll, well, blend it like right there. And then add it to my crease, just yellow to my crease. And I'm using my finger. And then I'm just going to blend that into the pink. Let me get more yellow. Um, Y'all, Stranger Things season four just came out and I'm so excited. I didn't know it came out. Like, I had no idea. But oh my gosh, I love Stranger Things. It's like my most favorite thing ever and it's like my favorite show and i did i forgot i thought it was coming out like in a couple of days i didn't realize it had already come out 
until one of my friends was like, hey, it came out. I was like, wait, really? So tonight I need to pack for the beach because I'm going to the beach in a couple days. But no, I'm gonna watch Stranger Things because obviously like it's Stranger Things. So I have that done. And I think for the bottom, I'm just gonna go in with the pink. Well, I think I'll use a brighter pink on the bottom. Like this one. And on the bottom, I'll add that. For, so what I do when I'm doing like the bottom of my lashes, so I don't get it like super down here, um, I take it and I pinch my brush. So I like, yeah, I pinch the brush and then I add it right under my eye and then I blend it out in small circular motions. So that way it doesn't come down to like there. Like when I apply the pigment, I wanna do it like that. And that's just what works for me. This is a fun look. It reminds me of like a really colorful bruise almost. Not in a bad way, like, like you know, you get punched in the face and normally it's like a, sometimes it can be like purpley, almost orange. This is what this reminds me of. So now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Or try to do the same thing. One of my eyes is like more creased, hooded than the other and it makes it really hard to do things sometimes. I, when I was younger, I didn't realize I had hooded eyes. I didn't understand that. And like I would do my eyeliner and I would do it like how I saw the videos of people do it. And I would be so confused why it looked so bad and it would be really weird. And I'm like, what? And I just thought I couldn't do it. And I kept trying and trying. And then now that I'm older, I realize like what it is. And it's that I have, my eyes are hooded, so they're, I don't even, I honestly don't know what that means. I know it's something about my crease, they kind of fold in or whatever, but I've had to learn how to do my eyeliner um, a different way than what I had seen all the other people do it. And now, I mean, I'm not like great at eyeliner. It's hard to do like to get them to look the same, but I've definitely gotten a lot better at doing my eyeliner. And now I'm just gonna add the orange to my outer corner. I'm gonna get a clean brush to blend with that doesn't have any pigment on it because I don't want to add any more pigment now, but I want to blend it together. Blend it up. Oh my goodness, I just slapped my palette down. I love this color, it's so pretty. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I love this one, it's like the only, the only ones that are like white. And I really like the packaging, like all the shades in it are super, super pretty. And the Morphe's just, it's expensive. I don't use any other products by Morphe because it's just, so expensive and I'm a child. I cannot afford that, but their eyeshadow palettes are really, really pretty. Like the shades are so pigmented and they blend well. If anything, I would recommend getting a high quality eyeshadow. The other makeup products, you don't, personally, I don't think you need anything like really high quality. You can use like, like e.l.f. or Maybelline or Revlon, like the cheaper brands, cause they work well. With eyeshadow, while cheaper ones can work, it's just easier to work with like a higher quality one because it just blends so much easier and the pigment you don't have to pack it on then just going in with the pink um under my eye so i've done with my eyes i think i need more blush honestly i I actually kind of like this look. I, normally I have like either a reference photo or just an idea in my mind of what I'm gonna do, but I kind of like what I did here. And now I'm going to do eyeliner and hope I don't mess it up. I'm so scared to do my eyeliner. Like I feel like- Hi, voice over like, me. So I need to I'm just like this, starting please. on my lower lash line and dragging a line out from there. And then I don't want to line my whole eye, so I do like halfway or like three fourths of the way to where, like at the end of my eye, then drag it from there. And I don't want it to be like a super thick line on my eye. I more want to make the wing out after I get past my lash line. 
and then I connect it from there. And then I just want to like bring in more pointiness and get it sharper. And then I just do the same thing on the other eye. Start at the bottom of my lash line and then drag a line out. Bring it sort of upwards and then on the top lash line, bring a line down. And I sort of angle it kind of downwards. Like I don't want it to be super up. I want it to kind of go past my crease and not over my crease so it doesn't like fold into itself. I think I got it sort of even. Um, I think I'm gonna try to do like a little heart right here with eyeliner. I think I'm gonna get again just do it right here and not I know if I try to like duplicate it on that side it's not gonna go well should I line my waterline with blood? yeah I'll do that I love that I like didn't even finish my sentence I'm going to add black liner to my waterline ah, I'm gonna mess up the heart I did my eyeliner. I'm gonna do highlighter. I need a lot of highlighter. So I'm gonna use this brush. Yeah, it's just clean. And then do my highlighter because I use so much on their cheeks. Which I mean, I like highlighter. I think highlighter is pretty. I'm not like. I it, like honestly, it's one of my favorite things. Like a highlighter and then mascara are probably my favorite. Well, blush. Okay, blush and highlighter are probably my favorite things to do. Mascara would be like my third favorite. Okay, and then I'm going to curl my lashes and add mascara. I've been using this lash serum and my eyelashes have been growing like I naturally have sort of long eyelashes, but this eyelash serum has seriously helped my eyelashes become so long. This mascara is really good too. It's the Sky High Mascara by Maybelline. And oh my gosh, I, I love this mascara. It's great. Like just look at the difference. There's like nothing here. And then like my eyelashes are so long. And then I wanna add Another mascara, and then if you're gonna do multiple coats, don't wait till it dries. Because if you wait till your mascara dries to do either multiple mascaras or multiple coats in general, it just it kind of makes your lashes clump up if you like wait for it to fully dry before I I just dab my eye. Oh. My eye is trying to water, but okay. Oh, oh my gosh, that hurts. Yeah, it'll like. It'll look clumpy if you wait for it to dry before adding multiple coats of mascara. Then I'm going to wait for them to dry and then I'll curl them again. I'm just going to comb them through real quick and make sure they're like not clumpy. Oh my gosh, when I was like younger, I would do like I did dance and for recitals like m m I couldn't do makeup so my mom did and when she would do my mascara she would like have me like lean against the wall so she could like get my eyelashes that was the scariest thing ever first of all she was so close to my face not to mention your neck so like always oh my gosh my neck would hurt so bad from being up on that wall but I was like I can't move she'll ruin it and you look beautiful My eyelashes, they're really long. Like, do you see that? Like, they almost touch my eyebrow. Like, just, I love mascara. It's so fun. So I'm going to apply this brown lipstick first. It's like neutral brown. And then on top of that, 
I'm gonna go in with this like red one because I want like a red lip but like, like super red so the brown hopefully kind of tones it out a little bit now I'm gonna take this um, LA girl plumping gloss I'm gonna try to do my hair. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, for warning, my hair is really messy. Um, pull like this much back into a little ponytail, and then I'll. Probably yeah. Fantastic. So as you can see, I straightened my hair. I don't know why the camera was so blurry. I'm really sorry. I didn't notice that till after I had already filmed it and I can't exactly like <laughs> re-straighten my hair. So that's what we're left with. But I added a black crop top um, and just some silver jewelry because I figured might as well. And this is the finished look. Um, I will add some photos. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. I actually had a lot of fun making this. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you liked it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.